Right, hi, I'm Tom Davies, and I'm here with uh, David Behar. Good morning, David. Good morning, how are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. You yeah. know, this is uh, springtime here in the Napa Valley, and springtime is also known as frost season, right? Yes. And uh, over the years, we've had lots of visitors come to the winery, and they're always wondering what these big fans are here in the valley. And so I thought today would be fun for us to talk a little bit about what they do, why we use them, mm -hmm. and uh, so folks back home can kind of see what this is all about. So during this time of year, we're now in early April, Yes. The, are the vines susceptible to frost? Yes, they are. As a matter of fact, as soon as they start, the buds start open, then they're susceptible to frost damage. And so if the temperatures get to be 32 degrees or colder, yes. what could happen is those buds freeze and then what happens if they freeze? Well, the epical marriage stand it'll frost and it'll freeze and it'll die. And then you don't have any more fruit in those buds. So that's a fruit bud. So, so we don't have that. So we have to protect with those wind machines that we have here in back. So, so how do these wind machines work? You know, we have this big fan that's up about 30 feet in the air. They are 30 feet high. And, and so what's, how do they work? What's the, per, what's the purpose behind them? Okay, the propeller that you see on top is 30 feet high and it'll throw air 500 feet around. Wow. And the head of the propeller, it turns uh, one minute is to make it turn every one minute to make a turn so to throw air back and forth With, within a 500 foot radius yes so you taken this fan up 30 feet in the air mm -hmm. and this is run by it, uh, you told me a, a chevy v8 it's a chevy v8 uh powered by propane wow we wow. also have this uh, the older models, there are Chevys and Fours. Yeah, the yeah. new models, there are different, you know, they have John Deere's and they have uh, New Holland. But what we have here is a Chevy. Do, do we get some good gas mileage out of this or what? Well, not really. Probably, again, probably not, not, huh? No, <laughs> we're, we're pretty stuck with this. It makes a lot of noise and a lot of fuel. Well, and, 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 of fuel. and you'll get to hear in a moment how loud these things are. Uh, you know, often I think during this time of the, of the year, we wake up and for those of us that live around the yes. vineyards, it sounds like you're living around an airport because exactly. these things can get really loud. So let's get back. You got this propeller that's 30 feet up in the air. Yes. And is it usually a little bit warmer as you go up as opposed to the temperature that's on the ground, David? It is. It varies from between two to three degrees. So it is warm and high and top. Mm -hmm. So what the propeller will do is a 10 to 11 feet, 12 feet, the propeller is that big. So it'll throw the top air, warmer air down to the cold air and it'll mix it. That's what it does. It'll so, mix the air. So if we have, let's say, like this morning it was about 37 degrees and so we didn't have to use them this morning. No. But I think what I heard this morning is that the weather tomorrow morning we might have frost. Is that correct? It is correct. And this morning it was cold enough but there was a little bit of wind. When it's windy like that, then the cold air doesn't set. Doesn't it just settle. moves around. Even if it's cold, but it still doesn't set. So if the air is moving, is we're, moving. we're okay. We don't yes. get those frosts. So let's say we don't have wind. We're going to get temperatures down to 32 or so. You'll come, what, 4 o'clock in the morning? At 3 o'clock, yeah. depends on the time. Turn these things on. Yes. And so it takes that warmer air that's up above, David. Tell mm -hmm. me if I'm correct and then mixes it in with that colder air that's settled on the ground. Exactly. And if we can just get it above 32, mm -hmm. we're safe. And, and just so all of you know, this is a critical time of year. It's, it's the, you know, if you sleep in and forget about turning these things on, uh, it's, it's no laughing matter. We could absolutely in one night lose uh, the majority of our crop so it's it's and it uh, happens and it, it, happens. it has it, happened yeah and yeah. it happens not because we're sleeping but also the temperature drops down and the wind machines can't get it uh, to the temperature that we want because it goes to 20 29 28 then we got problems. so these really only protect for about three degrees or so if yes. you get down to about 29 degrees we can still protect anything colder than that even the wind machines 
can't really do the no, trick. Exactly. But it's not that often we get that cold no. here, especially it, this time of year. And if you turn out the wind machine in the right temperature, like 32, minimum 32, mm -hmm. you have enough movement, air moving around the, around the wind machine, around 500 feet around, right. it'll protect you. Well, here we are, we're at Vittorio's Vineyard. This is our Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah that's right behind us. Yes. We have our new young Zinfandel over here. Mm -hmm. We have about a 34 acre estate and we have two of these. Yes, we so do. So each one covers uh, roughly around 15, 16 acres or so. Exactly, Yeah. and that's enough. That's right. the, the propellers are big and strong to, to protect. All right, David, let's fire this big boy up. Okay, well, let's see how noisy it is. So can you please uh, open the clutch here? All Bring right, it up to very me. good. All right, I'll open the clutch. All, All right, right well, David, let's, fire it up. Let's see. <laughs> oh, that's a little loud. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna let this warm up for a moment. Yes. How many RPMs do you run this at when, you're, uh, when we're doing the rotating? Between 25 to 3,000 RPMs wow. per minute. Wow. So it works really fast. Yeah, that's great. Yes. All right, so uh, let, me, let, me, let me warm it up and then I'm going to turn up the propeller so you can hear it. All right, so then we're working to see it. All yes. right. So as soon as you kind of feel it, it starts to, the, the RPM drop. Yes, it's like you're driving a, yeah. a, a stick. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Because if you drop it really fast, yeah, it'll, 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 yeah. just like a regular you car. You can damage the clothes. Yeah. Can, yeah. So now, you move that, and, and you have to use two hands though. Don't do, don't do it too fast. Just slowly, keep going. 